just got a call from Jason and he got a Gibson R8, but not any kind of R8. He got a Murphy Lab. So we're gonna go do an unboxing. Now, this box does not look like it is in the best of shape. Nope, it does not. Came to me a little wet right here. It's still a little soggy. And this right here, I believe my dog might have pulled a little bit, but it was all wet right through here. Oh my god! It was all wet, and it was wet down here too. You can still see a little watermark. Oh so my gosh. I'm a okay. little nervous about that. Yeah. And not only that, it was supposed to be here yesterday, but it was delayed a day. So I don't know if it took a bath or I don't know. <laughs> but it's way too much money to, uh, yeah, have a wet guitar. So. Hopefully the finish is pre pristine on it, I hope. Well, that would be awesome. Now, I will also say this now. Yeah. Uh, have you let it acclimate? F yes, four, four, five hours. Okay, because yeah. it was out in the Texas heat. It was, and I uh, brought it inside and I patiently waited. Uh, PRS said four to six hours, so I did five hours. Okay, and but this is nice. a Gibson. It is a Gibson. It sure. also already has a correct finish. It does. <laughs> so, so, yeah, yeah, there's that. But it, there's, it's important for the frets, it's important but I, for yeah, tuning. Yeah. And I've waited hours, hours. Maybe yes. we could say I've waited 24 hours, 48. We um, could say yeah, that. We could. It'd be yeah. a lie. But I think we should go ahead yeah, yeah. and do the sweet, sweet unboxing. We'll open it up here. All right. All right. All right. Got her open. like a box yes okay sweet sweet bubble wrap so far okay oh there's a case there we go looks, looks a lot like that case yes it does hey okay. we should do a comparison yeah okay we're coming up here oh there he goes okay let's get a latch number one okay here's the moment Watch, it's just gonna be like a bunch of eggs. Yeah. Oh, there she is. Gorgeous. Oh, yeah. That Very is cool. pretty. Wow. Mm -hmm. And the back uh, has checking, but different. Well, no, it's kind of the same. Wow. Okay. So this is a 22. 22. Tiny setup. It's a little, I like it a little lower down here. You know what I mean? Don't you? Now you're used to a 25 and a half. I am. Indeed. This is 24 and three quarter. Yep, yep. So how is that affecting your playing right now? It's just as bad as it always is. Okay, good. Yeah. So not negative or positive? No, no. I did it. I was the first to break a string. It feels awesome though. All right, so if I can say this, as I am, you know, have the camera and I'm, I'm looking at this beautiful beast, uh, I can say this. I've played a lot of vintage Gibson Les Pauls and I will say this is close. It's close. It doesn't feel played in yet. You know, like when, when checking happens, 
Like, that's while you're playing, you know, over time. Like, the checking gets worse and you're playing it. The lacquer still feels a little new. The frets still feel a little new. But otherwise, well done, Murphy Lab. It, the body feels right. The neck, pretty darn close. It, it just needs to get played. So are you going to try and go ahead and top wrap these? I'm going to do whatever my Les Paul Gibson expert tells me to. Well, I never top wrap, but at the same time, this <coughs> tailpiece is all the way down. So, and it doesn't seem to be touching. So, I don't know, if you want to give it a shot, I mean, what's the worst that happens? Are you stringing? I mean, the guitar could fall apart. That's yeah. the worst that could happen. We decided to try the top wrap. Yeah. I mentioned that in the video, and I had a few people go, oh yeah, it makes a big difference. And then I had a bunch of people say, nope, not a difference at all. And so now, <laughs> we have both played it, not top wrapped, and top wrapped. Well, soon top wrapped. And we will see, we will see if we notice a difference. Being the scientists that we are. That's true. I just played new strings on a Les Paul in the same time. Really? Like to, now maybe it's because I turned off the um, the delay. Oh yeah. But like, it sounds different. Your problem with my delay? I'm saying it sounds bigger. Oh. Does it bother you yes. that the guitar looks so vintage, but the plastics don't seem to be aged? Mm. I mean, you think they would have noticed it? Yeah. It, does, it doesn't bother me. I will say I didn't notice. But it would have been nice. I mean, but I didn't really notice. The, the poker chip is, isn't it? This is one color, but this is another color. Yeah. This is another color. I mean, that's... Is that is that kind of relic? It's like it's coming off a little bit? Yeah. Could Maybe. Be. I Maybe. don't know. But yeah, the rings, I feel like the rings and the pit guard, I feel like they leave a little to be desired. But the pit, the tuners look good to me. They look really old. You know, the neck has a little, see, there's a little pitting right there. And it's kind of cool. Is there a pre-broken headstock? No, not on this model. That's, that's the ultra heavy. Ultra heavy mm -hmm. relic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think we need to look at the case candy inside. Let's do it. All right, so. Case candy. Let's see what's in there besides a little pillow for yeah. his head. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I like this. It's like Christmas. Got a booklet with a checked finish on there. That's awesome. Gibson Murphy. Does lab. it actually feel checked or is it no. like a picture? It's photo. Just a picture. Yeah, photo it's, check. It's photo check. No, it's got a normal. This will save me some weight on the back. Oh yeah, there you go. Okay. Here's a little goodie bag. I'll get this in a moment. My Sweetwater card, I did buy it used. Corey and Shane, thank you for doing a good job. At Gibson, number nine, thank you. You did a great job. Yeah. Gibson Gold Warranty, probably doesn't apply to me. Probably not. But, they don't know. It's not even filled out, I'll just fill it out. 
Yeah. See what happens. It's All not right. like there's any proof of that anywhere no. that you bought this used. Nobody will watch this. No. I love how this looks old, like straight from the 50s. That's yeah. super cool. Okay. Lux. Handmade paper and oil capacitors. Wow, it's like a little story about Gibson strings. Mm -hmm. I'll read that later. That's kind of cool. Okay, this is the instructions, and it even looks like an old font. Yeah. Like, it looks old. I love that. Gosh, I love... I just love old stuff, so this is cool. Vintage reissue strings. Mm -hmm. Love it. Mr. Dealer. In order to preserve the delicate coloring of this beautiful Gibson instrument, avoid displaying and show windows where it will be subjected to direct or excessive sun rays. Because... What would that do to it? Yeah, causing a lot of fading. Change yeah. the color, right? The UV... This is about Murphy Lab. It's telling about how they redeveloped lacquer. Which I like. Got another switch tip, which I think I've got there. I don't know why. Well, it's in case you prefer a different color. Mine this... actually came with a little bit of a different color to it. Mm -hmm. It was lighter that was on there. Okay. And I liked the darker, so okay. I switched it out. Okay, I'll, I'll look at that. We've got the Tunematic Bridge and the humbucking pickup adjustment, which I love because this look old as well. Yeah, it's almost like the original patent, almost. Mm -hmm. Love case candy. This is cool. They've got it in a nice little, like, uh, I don't know, just a little paper. Yeah, it's like a wax paper yeah. envelope. Well, yeah, 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 like a wax paper envelope. That's cool. I mean, this is stuff, like, I love all this stuff up on the wall. This is stuff I could really frame, especially this Dear Mr. Dealer or whatever. That's kind of yeah. cool. All right, so you know the big thing for me, like a big chunky neck. Yep. And a light guitar. So. Which is the unicorn. Chunky neck. Check. check. Yes. All right. Moment of truth. Mm-hmm. Seven pounds, 12 ounces. Yes. That is amazing. And that is just regular sourced wood. Yep. It's not, not chambered. chambered at all. That's amazing. Yes. <laughs> okay, Jason, final thoughts. What do you think? I, when I first played it, I liked it a lot. I liked the weight of it, even though it's heavier than all my other guitars. <laughs> I liked it a lot, but the more and more I play it, the more I love it. Like, I just love it. Like, it feels old. Like, it just... I can feel, I don't know, it just feel, it feels like an old guitar. I like that. I just, I want to play it some more. It's got, you know, the discoloring here. It's kind of got the rolled fingerboard a little bit. Mm -hmm. I love it. I just, I don't know, I think it's beautiful. And you were mentioning that view of it. I don't know if we can get this on camera or not. Let's see. So cool. Yeah, there it is. And it, that it's, what, I, what I'm talking about is it almost looks like it is a flame top, but it's not. It's all the checking, and it's the light hitting the lacquer right there. See, so it's like, go on, and then there it is. Yeah, it's very it's cool. Super cool. I think it's a great guitar. I think it is. And I will say that, for me, my R9, I didn't feel like I needed to top wrap strings, mm -hmm. but this guitar felt better, sounded better, and played better yeah. with the top wrap. Yeah. It was the right call for this one. And this neck just feels, oh, I love it. Yeah, I think, you know, I, I've been looking for a long, long time, probably four years for a Les Paul, and I feel like I might have found the one. Yeah. I think this is it. Yeah, you've gone through yeah. many of them. This, is a this good one's one. the best for sure. For sure. So, Definitely. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love it. All right, so seal of approval? Absolutely. Seal of approval. I will be playing the heck out of this one. Now it's got to get a Marshall. <laughs> well that concludes our time at the Twee Couch YouTube channel. Make sure you hit like and subscribe. Also, be sure to check out some other different videos that we have done on guitars, Gibson guitars, different things like that. Make sure you check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And also remember, you are your greatest asset. Until next time.